No, the new guy is infertile too. It runs in the family. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a super interesting start as the nation of Naples. Naples is a nation that starts off in the south of Italy. And as you all know, we do start off as a junior partner of Aragon. And we do have cores on these provinces right here in the two Sicily areas. Naples has really good national ideas for playing tall, starting off with plus 10% trade efficiency and plus 10% institution spread, and finishing off with a super strong plus 20% national manpower. But in the meantime, we have plus 10% goods produced, excellent, minus 5% tech discount, minus 10% debt discount plus 10 percent morale of armies minus 10 percent ship cost yearly prestige and plus one government thingy so neapolitan ideas really really good for you know making money and playing tall and even expanding and stuff like that of course we start off with this aragonese ruler right here which is gonna die a couple of years after the game starts and aragon is just gonna let us go for free 99 percent of the time and we won't even have to do an independence war or nothing. After that, we're just free to expand, maybe even fight Aragon to get our cores back. I think pretty much everyone watching has played as Naples. But what do we do as Naples? Well, you know that the south of Italy always gets bullied that it's poorer than the northern part. So for today's challenge as Naples, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have to conquer the entire region of Italy right here. And once we do that, we are going to have to have prosperity in the entire portion of southern Italy right here, while everything in the north is going to be devastating. Devastated. That's right, we're going to be diving, improving the southern portion over here while exploiting development, raising the provinces up north, fighting battles, not building any forts or anything like that. So once we have all of this conquered and we go in the devastation map mode, all of this right here should be green and all of this right here should be red. What are we going to do about these islands? I don't know. They're never in the discussion. Italy doesn't even own Corsica. So you know what? Maybe we can conquer them as a bonus goal, but you know, they're not too relevant for our main goal. And why not another bonus goal if we get to Admin Tech 10? Form the two Sicilies. So let's jump in as Naples. All right, all right, here we are as Naples. Now we just got to do a little bit of waiting until uh, this Aragonese guy dies. But in the meantime, we can do the estate setup. I'm going to also start spying on Siena right here because that's probably going to be our first, you know, expansion opportunity over in Northern Italy. Obviously, we're leaving the Pope for last. And uh, I think I'm also going to improve with Austria so we can. Um, you know, potentially join the HRE after we're uh, independent just so we can fight some of these guys right here before they, uh, well, eventually leave the HRE, if all of them even do. So yeah, let's do the estate setup and uh, wait for Aragon's guy to die. All right, estate setup done, making decent income at the start. Let's get this inflation reduction guy, trade efficiency guy, uh, reinforced speed guy. Start spying on Siena right here. Start improving with Austria. Force limit is uh, 14 Let's take a look at this army. Army is army is actually good. I think I'm only going to hire the free company later when we declare our war. Let's take a look at the boats, galleys, transports. Uh, sure. You know what? I will build up a couple of more galleys and uh, let's do a couple of more lights as well. Seems good enough for now. Let's mothball forts, lower army maintenance, and uh, wait. What can this guy do though? Hmm. Who's Aragon's rivals? Yeah, let's improve with uh, Castile here. So yeah, by the by the end, by the time we conquer everything, we're gonna need to go into this map mode over here. Where's devastation? There it is. And uh, basically, all of this. Um you know, northern portion of Italy, all of uh, these areas right here, even this one province that we own, you know, since it's... Yeah, I know it's technically like this, but I'm a, I'm an area freak about that, so let's just do this cutoff point. Everything up here needs to be uh, red, just like this, and everything down here needs to be green, like, well, nothing on the map just yet. This is devastated because of the raids. Meanwhile, Aragon's allied Burgundy, which could be annoying when we need to fight them, but uh, if I can link with Castile and France here, which uh, none of them are rival to Austria, which is excellent, I think we can get a really good alliance network going to help us beat up Aragon. Meanwhile, Siena is in a trade league with Genoa, has allied Savoy and Venice. I love it when it's easy. Luckily, we don't care about that. Uh, this mission right here gives us a permaclaim on Tuscany, so we could fight Florence, we could uh, not fight Luca. Okay, then. So he died, right? Now we should get the event? Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay, the Neapolitan succession. So we choose to, uh, where's that, uh, be friendly with the Pope? This is the be friendly with the Pope thing, right? Yeah, lose legitimacy in ducats. Pope likes us, but, you know, we'll get that legitimacy back. 
from our mission. There we go. Perfect. We're independent. Excellent. Uh, now to do this, 90% of our first limit. Yeah, let's just get the free company up over here and we'll be able to uh, take that mission right here. There we go. There's the free company. Aragon wants to ally me. No way. There's independent Naples. Legitimacy is back and perma claims on Tuscany. Perfect. We're independent. Let's go ahead and rival and no one just yet. First, I want to... Oh, nice. I can even ally Austria, dude. This is perfect. Nice. Even got one stab right there. There's the alliance with Austria. Excellent. Now we can go ahead and uh, join the HR perfect so we can fight all of these guys and can i like a steel as well i can real marry them and then ally them perfect and what about france i'll be able to get with them as well dude this is awesome man i think i can ally the pope as well mm, not really but i should be able to so castile france and austria easy bruh easy yeah let's just go ahead and rival aragon uh genoa let's see genoa right here yeah i think i'm gonna do genoa as well and then let's do Venice. Of course, lost a diplomat because we joined the HRE, but uh, no big deal. I mean, yeah, let's get started. Florence is the only nation we can declare on out of these uh, three guys right here. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's declare a conquest for Pisa. I think we're probably only going to take Pisa here. Uh, yeah, no need for any co-belligerents. There we go. Wow, do you believe this? We actually spawned the Renaissance. <laughs> we play in Italy so often, dude, and I never get to spawn this. That's that's actually really nice. Dev discount, gov reform progress, prestige, and points. Perfect, dude. Perfect. Oh, the dev discount is going to come in nicely because um, we're either way going to dev Naples up to... Uh, the 30, you know, for the age objective. So that's perfect. We can start bumping it up in uh, mill since I already have mill tech 4. Let's do this as well. Perfect. You know, everyone's going to get it anyway. Might as well sell it. Oh, no one wants to buy it. Right, right. We need to embrace it before we can sell it. I actually am going to take out loans for that. Now we can sell it? Yes. There's a royal marriage with France in the meantime. Excellent. We'll be able to ally them after we end this. Perfect. And after a white piece on Ferrara, we can... Uh, I keep forgetting how expensive this, this stuff is, man. Yeah, I can only take Pisa, frick. This will stop us from expanding, man. I'll still only be able to declare on these three guys. I kind of wanted to do this so we can go for like Bologna, Venice, uh, Ferrara, but... Nah, that's way too much. Yeah, let's just do this. Uh, no money in war ups, I don't think. Actually, no, this isn't bad. We can go for like Genoa and uh, Savoy from this too. Savoy, pretty strong allies. Genoa, Genoa sucks. Okay, that we can definitely spy on them. Let's go ahead and ally France too. There we go, ally France. Uh, they'll probably call me into this, but doesn't matter too much. Yep. Right, right. Almost forgot about this. Let's tell the Venice guy to establish and the Alexandria guy to collect from here and establish as well. Yeah, and later we're gonna get a little less aggressive expansion since all of these guys are gonna leave the HRE except for Luca, which is allied to Austria. Yeah, there's no way to fight Luca. Well, if I declare on Genoa, yeah, maybe if I do this before 1460, we can make Luca end that alliance and then these guys will leave too. But actually, that doesn't doesn't really matter too much. We're in the HRE, so we can make them break that alliance with favors. 2 2 gov reform. We're obviously just a regular monarchy here. Nobles are kind of influential, and uh, that extra manpower from here is kind of far away. So I am going to go strengthen noble privileges. So right now, I've changed my game plan to uh, from fighting Genoa to fighting Aragon because uh, Castile and France would help me if I had favors with them. So that's what I'm doing. Bring favors. Ah, uh, this is actually not good. France is threatening to break the alliance because uh, I'm allied to Castile and Austria. Now, they weren't rivaled and now they are. Maybe with a little bit of improving, we could stop it because it is at zero. Yeah, I think I did stop it. It went away by insulting, uh, scornfully insulting Burgundy. I can get it up even more. Excellent alliance with the Pope as well. Something I did want to do. And actually, there's a mission, Roman relations, papal influence. Nice, I'll take that. Let's get the, what do we get here? The improved relations one first, actually. And then we gotta, what do we gotta do? Expand in Tuscany, okay. Uh, yeah, get back our cores. Okay. Look, everyone, everyone I have good relations with has like, has bad relations with France. Now, yeah, me and Castile can't take on Aragon and Burgundy, mostly because of Burgundy's boys. I think that plan is, uh... Yeah, not good. And I really do want to stay allied with Austria, man, because of the HRE shenanigans. Yeah, no fighting Aragon just yet, I guess. Yeah, there goes the France alliance. Oh, well. Bro, we've been waiting for so long. My truce with Florence actually expired, so... Yeah, I can't fight these guys by myself yet. That's why I allied Milan, but... Whatever, let's just fight Florence again. Maybe... I should have actually allied Aragon. And then we could have used, um... This... For our cores. Yeah, I didn't think of that. But I still wanted to get this though, so... There's the second war with Florence done, literally the exact same as the first one. There we go, there's Florence, lots of aggressive expansion, very, very painful. I'm gonna take their money this time too, and that's done. Eh, I didn't really want to do that. Let's go ahead and get Kelly Combat, but at least now we can fight uh, Bologna and Ferrara. 
Oh, wait a minute. So France is fighting Burgundy uh, because they declared on Brittany. Burgundy won't defend Aragon. What about Castile? No, Castile wouldn't join. Frick, why wouldn't it join? Yeah, I guess they have uh, good relations. We gotta do this before the Iberian wedding happens. Can I take them on by myself? If I can cross, yes, because I'll get ticking. But if I can't cross... Oh, would anyone else help me? Austria wouldn't, Castile wouldn't, Milan wouldn't, the Pope wouldn't, no one would. I gotta try and do this though, I gotta try and cross. Started building some more galleys. Hopefully they'll be built and Burgundy still won't want to join. I think, I think we have time because France doesn't even have Dijon yet. First idea group time. Uh, what I'm thinking here is, do we go espionage to speed things up a little bit, right? This, by taking just this right here, this could knock off like 15 years of our, off our campaign, man. Or, you know, do we go with standard, you know, Naples, you know, quality trade or quality economic or something like that quantity trade quantity economic i really don't know i kind of don't feel like taking espionage man if i'm being honest i kind of want to you know be, actually be strong so yeah let's go quality here for our first idea group there's the shadow kingdom obviously we're gonna stay because of luca yeah boats built another mission neapolitan navy um just some perma claims over here not interested in this obviously all right, man, I think about 25 galleys should be enough to knock back uh, Aragon's navy here, who has two heavies and nine galleys. So, yeah, let's go ahead and declare for the reconquest of uh, Messina. Burgundy still won't join. We should be able to win this. Actually, I'm even going to naval bombard here. Yeah, Aragon can't get troops over unless they ferry them. Time to uh, stay in the HRE. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I did not think they were going to get this many troops over here. 29k. What's Meltag though? I'm five. They're four. Interesting. Uh, if we go ahead and get uh one more loan, go a little more over first limit. One, two, three, four. Like this, we can beat them. Yeah, I got them on morale and combat ability too, and that's an easy stack wipe right there. <laughs> Barely won this battle, but uh, you know, easy stack wipe because they had nowhere to retreat. Massive naval dub as well, even though I did lose a couple of boats. Now, this is what I'm going for here. Pretty good on monarch points, even though our ruler is not, you know, anything. Well, actually, this could be above average, maybe. I don't know. If 18, if 18 is max, what is uh, 8? Actually, it's below average. Time to start making uh, southern Italy prosperous over here. Let's go ahead and develop uh, the paper one. Austria got Burgundy, which is uh, good for me. I'm allied to Austria. Don't really care about this region, so that's great. Oh, Austria got the horse event or something immediately. No war, no nothing. Nice. A impact coming in nicely. The steel just declared on Aragon as well. And we're done. I was holding out for the... Uh, wait, no, not enforced mill access. What the frick? For the war apps. Yeah, for the war apps. That's what I was holding out for. Okay, excellent. All across back. We got uh, Sardinia as well. Perfect. There's uh, Unite the Two Sicilies. Perfect. Ottomans warned me why that... That's not valid with anyone I want to fight. Oh, Venice, actually, right? Yeah. Okay. Albania has joined the HRE. Still no prosperity anywhere. Just devastation. It's 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 the other way around. How do you stop, like, the Barbary guys from uh, raiding? Do you tell them, like, to hunt pirates? Is that the mission? I think that's the mission, man. Hunt enemy fleets, intercept... Yeah, it's gotta be this. Just got new burger loans right now. Let's, uh, let's start building some buildings. Let's do a marketplace in uh, Naples. Let's do a marketplace in Palermo. Let's do a marketplace in uh, Florence and Pisa. And we can also get our tier 3 government reform, which is gonna be... Uh, it's gonna be this for now. I really didn't think this is how we're gonna expand in Tuscany by just pummeling Florence over and over again, but... There's no other way. Hey, sweet, Luca doesn't exist. <laughs> Milan has actually expanded there, so... Okay. Okay, well, we're officially done with Florence. Now, I just started building a fort in here to get rid of devastation. I think I should get rid of the one in Messina and actually build one in Palermo, because then it touches all of these. Oh, great, Tunis has this. All right, let me make the Pope uh, break their alliance with Bologna, which they will accept. And now I think we can go ahead and... Uh, not do anything and by the way i'm only deving stuff over here even though it's not optimal to use the diplo points for like green provinces or you know uh grape provinces i'm i'm still not deving anything over here well actually i don't have to fight anyone in the hre anymore so let's just leave it so yeah i can get the diplomat in golf cap see these guys are still raiding arborea where's arborea that's right there that's in genoa they shouldn't be able to do that yeah i guess that's not the thing you do to stop these guys from raiding yeah either way let's fight genoa no allies 
Do we vassalize these guys to do a little reconquest? It'll be way cheaper for this province, but nah. So if I want to fight Milan, they're allied to uh, Ragusa, Aragon, and Trent. But if I call in Austria, Aragon doesn't join because they're uh, allied. So let's declare for, for Luca. Yeah, I think we can call it. So let's get Luca. Can I get Genoa too? Uh, yeah, this is about enough. I'm also going to get... I'm also, I'm also going to accumulate them. Nice. Okay, sweet. There's another mission. Renaissance City. Whatever I did. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Age of Culture or Age of Glory. I'm going to go with the idea discount here, actually. And we can develop Naples. That's go reform progress. We can become a kingdom. There's the diplomat back. Let's core that up. Perfect. And I'm also going to go for Admin 7 here. Second idea group time. I think actually infrastructure would be really good for what we're trying to do here. Uh, the global prosperity is needed for sure. For down in the south, state maintenance is great. Construction discount is excellent. Dev discount, fort maintenance, state's governing costs. So uh, yeah, definitely leans into the whole, you know, making this region more prosperous thing. So infrastructure ideas. I don't think I've ever actually taking them since they've uh since they've come out ah bologna has left the uh what you call it trade league pure fork of reform time lanes for the church already really nice income and we're done with bologna i'm building buildings just down in the south here obviously the one there are ones up here but i haven't built them so oh please let it be somewhere in the south dude uh malt this is actually, this is an insane event for like an end note, like Genoa, Venice, or the English Channel, man. If you click the second one right here, it pretty much creates like a level three center of trade over there or something. This, this modifier, it's so insane. Let me, uh, let me get a loan right here just so I can show you what happens. Look, look at the trade power we get if we build a marketplace there now. Insane. Oh, I got a claim on Tunis. Okay, Castile pieced out, uh, Tunis. Ah, oh, I got Corsica, yes. <laughs> That's nice. All right, let me go back home then. Yo, this is not good, man. <laughs> my uh, my guy is still the original guy. 59, by the way, no heir. You know what? I'm not going to do anything. Could be funny. Let's make the Pope break another alliance, this time with Savoy. Finally got some prosperity down here in uh, Campania. Yeah, I got workshops in every province down here. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on with churches. All right, let's declare on Savoy here for Nizza. Austria will help out, which is good because Bohemia is in this too. So yeah. Oh, fighting Milan is going to be hard. We got to go for Venice first then. Oh, I'm fighting Siena too. I can make them end this alliance. It's funny how incapable the AI is sometimes. Austria hasn't done anything in this war, bro. The only thing I guess they've done is, I don't know, prevented Bohemia from coming to fight me somehow. I think we're pretty much done here. So let's take Nizza. Can I do something like this? 50 AE. Then we'd have to chill for a while. It is going down pretty rapidly, I guess. Yeah, it's non-existent with everyone. This is exactly what I'm going to do. Let's get uh, war ups and money from Subway as well. Sweet. I'm even going to start building manufactories down here. Nice, man. Even more prosperity. This is excellent. Siena got eaten by the Pope. See, this is my main problem, man. These freaking Tunisians keep raiding over there. How do you just stop that? I don't think this hunt pirates thing does anything, man. Oh, what are the other guys doing? Protecting Genoa. Venice. See, they fricked it. Over here, at least. And here. Okay, so Venice is getting slammed by uh, Hungary uh, right now, so let's declare on them ourselves as well. For the conquest of Ravenna, I'll call in just Austria. I don't want the Pope interfering here. Perfect. We should be able to nab like three or four provinces here. Dude, this original guy is 70. I even got an heir. I didn't even notice that at all, but got it to Ferrando the first, the Trustamara. He's a free thinker and infertile. Well, Maybe not that infertile. Just wrapped up infrastructure as well. I wonder what the policy is. Actually, that's really strong. Plus 33% army drill gain and professionalism. That's that's really good. Let's do this. Take that. Yeah. Uh, sure. I can coalition Hungary. Let's do it. Who else is going to join? You know, the development on these southern provinces is pretty good, too. I, I haven't dev anything up here, by the way, just over here. I may have uh, done a little devving here, but yeah, most everything is over here in these uh, sub-bar fishing provinces. Oh, I wish I could dev the paper and the cloth and the... Oh, but no, no. In fact, we're going to be exploiting development up here later on, so... Mm. No, the Pope rivaled me? Oh, that sucks. Who do we get? Poland? Poland's pretty strong. No, the new guy's infertile too. It runs in the family. <laughs> At least he spawned an heir immediately. Dude, these guys are full drilled. This is actually so insane right here. Where is it? Uh, that. That right there. Wow, dude. I haven't even been drilling that long, man. I swear they're full drill. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do uh, here is declare on Saluzzo, and I'm gonna make the Pope pop out a bunch of guys, and maybe I'll be able to actually diplo-vassalize them, like Urbino, Perugia, Spalletto, Siena. Yeah, uh, let's not co-belligerent them. Yeah, I'm gonna make the Pope release uh, Perugia, Siena, and Spalletto. Actually, Siena might be too deft here. Let's let's make him do Perugia, Spalletto, and Urbino. Oh, uh, they would probably, unless this is like just fresh out the box. Hmm, Condottieri contracts. Nope, that's lame. Uh, what, is there a cheaper fort thingy? I do have lots of forts. Hmm, I'll do this actually. That's that. Let's full annex Saluzzo. There's Urbino immediately, right after I allied them. Uh, next we can do... Uh, Spoleto. Spoleto. Perugia. I'm an actual genius. <laughs> ah, this is really good. This is really, really good. Okay, now Austria called me into this war versus Bohemia. Not a big deal. What I'm going to do is declare on Mantua. And I think I'm going to do the same thing with the Pope here. Try and get Siena. And the same thing with Milan. Try and get Parma. Just white piece Switzerland, I guess. Look, Siena would accept too, dude. <laughs> Just made Milan release Parma and Parma would accept too. Ah, uh, this is excellent. Hey, prosperity events in Naples are actually... Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> There's Mantua done. Let's pop off a full annexation on them. And let me go ahead and ally Siena. And now I can vassalize them. Perfect. There we go. Just vassalize Siena and Parma. I'm guessing this can be done with Verona, with Padua, with... Uh, well, no one's there. It could have been done with Aquilia. I don't know if we're going to do that with Venice, though. We might just straight up fight them. But uh, there's some missions now. A A is high-ish, man. A is high-ish. Let's chill a little bit and then we'll fight... Ugh. Milan, we gotta do Venice first, but I have a truce with them. Where's where's me? Oh, that's a long truce. Meanwhile, Protestantism still hasn't spawned, man. It's still the Age of Discovery, 1514. Give Malta the the knights? No. I also started building this just now. So, uh, yeah. Prosperity in the south is looking pretty good. I just need this right here to be prosperous. I don't know how... It is going up. It is going up. Now, we should probably uh, upgrade the centers of trade down here too, man. Let's do the one in Naples. It's a thousand, right? Boom. Yeah. We can do the one in Palermo too. We can have, like, at most two level three center of, centers of trade. Meanwhile, all the ones up here need to be at uh, one. We can't technically downgrade the one in Venice, right? Because it'll go down to two after we take it. Genoa was down to one because uh, Milan took it before I did. You know what? Monuments is uh, monuments is nice too. Let's do the multi force. I don't need them, but I'll do them. Hey, there's the there's the Protestant Reformation. Okay, now I'll pop off my golden era. Now, time for our third idea group. Honestly, I'm thinking another one, which is going to make us, like, you know, prosperous and stuff like that. The only ones I can really see doing that is, like, trade and economic. Now, we don't control that many trade nodes for trade to be beneficial, but, you know, I'm not opposed to it. But then again, with economic, we have the, what the policies? Discipline, right? Just discipline? Okay, and then with trade, we got um uh trade efficiency and trade power and goods produced. So, yeah, even though we got goods produced here, even if I do trade, I'll get goods produced, so... Trade it is. This is gonna make us very prosperous, boys. Very nice. Hey, two Sicilies. Uh, that's a bonus goal I said we'd do, right? Let me take a look at dual... Two, let me take a look at two Sicily ideas. All right, so I'm looking at them right now. You guys can't see them because I'm only recording uh, EU4, but both of these guys have the morale, right? Yeah, both have the manpower. Then we got tech discount, both of them. Unrest and plus one possible policies with the two Sicilies. Navy tradition, CCR is great. Chip trade power, morale of navies, goods produced. We still got the goods produced. I guess we're losing the dev discount here for the... Mm, yeah, they're very, very similar, except I'll get the manpower now instead of waiting for it last. Trade efficiency. Naples has trade efficiency too. Yeah, for a, for a prosperous gameplay. Let's let's take a look at one. Uh, you know, I'm counting trade efficiency. One, two, three, four. Sort of prosperity focused national ideas, whereas the two Sicilies have uh, one, two. Just the goods produced and the and the tech discount. Whereas here we got the dev discount and the trade efficiency as well. So I will be forming the two Sicilies just because it's fun. There we go. But no new traditions and ambitions. I'll stick with the Neapolitan ones. There we go. Mainly for the trade efficiency and the dev discount. This is weird. I kind of got used to the purple. Really good dev, by the way. Almost 600 dev and we don't even own like the richest provinces in Italy, dude. Ah, uh, 
I love it. We've been doing lots of devving. Let's take a look at the development. Decent. I'd say pretty decent. Oh, Milan beat up Venice and Padua and Verona have popped out. Dude, I can get them. I can actually get them. Neapolitan or two Sicily vassals swarm everyone. Seven subjects, by the way. It's that easy. There's Padua. Let's go for Verona now. Simple. Very simple. Seven subjects. Yes. Actually, we can start annexing some of them now. Let me give the nobles the, uh, right. Strong duchies goes away when you form another nation. There's strong duchies. And, uh, there's the integration policy as well. Why is the clergy disloyal? Now, let's start annexing these boys. Annex a couple of these guys down here. Let's upgrade this too. Nope. We can't, we can't upgrade that too. I gotta start pounding Milan here, man. Otherwise, we're never gonna get it done. All right, let's get it. Let's, uh, declare for Pavia. Nope. Didn't call in Austria, I think. <laughs> There it is. Oh, Austria actually got Bohemia. I didn't even notice that. That's great for us. Oh, we can call in someone else too. Oh, sweet. Not even gonna lie. Even with France said that, that wasn't difficult at all. So let's take Bergamo and Brescia. After this, we really only have two more provinces to get from Venice and one from Austria, I guess. We'll see. Maybe I'll vassalize Venice and beg for this back. So we can afford to be a little bit more aggressive here. It's just Milan that's gonna be angry. So I will do something like this. You know, if you want to play optimally, of course, you have to go all out. No, as you know, I don't. But here is how I'm going to show you how to play optimally. As you can see, Poland is asking me for some soldiers. I think it's 10% of my, uh, what you call it, max manpower. So I think I should give them like 6,500 here, right? No. No, I don't want to give them 6,500. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, spam this button right here until we use up all our manpower just like that. As you can see, it's going down right now. And let's wait for it to go down to about this much. Now I'm going to go. Yeah, they're asking for 2,500. Poland, I don't have 2,500. I only have, uh, well, none. And then we can cancel all of this. Manpower is back. Of course, I don't ever do this because I'm not petty like that. But, you know, if you're tight on cash or manpower or something like that, definitely, you know, start building some buildings to use up the money. Uh, accept that, then cancel it, whatever. Or you can just decline. What is this? One stab, 21 particulars and, and lots of other particulars? Or what is this? Let's, let's fight them. Let's fight them. Now, how did this become devastated? Just because they rose up? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, uh, bro, what? <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, what is this? I, I become an Italian signoria? A republic? Nah, nah, let's stay as a monarchy, man. I'm gonna get these guys down here, then I'm gonna click this. How fun that they auto-occupy it, just cause, just so they can get more devastation in there, Jesus. Dude, imagine I unseize it, and I get to sack my own um, capital or whatever, cause you can, <laughs> you can get that sacking event, even on your own provinces. Gonna annex Siena now. Let's get this up to level two. Making Austria break their alliance with Venice because that's happened for some reason. And now I'm actually going to declare on Venice, uh, call in Poland to help me beat these small guys up. And then I think I'm going to vassalize them to ask Austria for the return of this core. How did this happen? How did this happen? How did this happen? I swear, like, apparently, apparently prosperity is the hardest freaking thing to get, dude. Ugh. That's an unconditional from Venice. I will make them my vassal. That's a lot of AE. What? I think this may be one of the only ways to get prosperity up here. Oh, actually, I don't need it there, but... <laughs> I don't have any more building slots. I built everything. Let's check now. You know what? Frick it, I'll deal with it. Nice. Hey, Austria will immediately accept that. Nice. Okay. We pretty much got everything except these three Milan provinces, which are going to be a pain. They're really high depth. Oh, this was like 55 dev. This is going to be like 33 plus 11, 44, 59. Yeah, pretty similar AE right there. Oh, shut up. Well, it's been a while. Coalition didn't form. Tier 16 over here, I'm going to go with this. Annexed Parma, annexing Verona, and I'm going to annex Padua, and I guess um, Venice after that. Finally started to get prosperity in eastern Sicily. That was my, uh, that's the biggest one I can't uh, seem to get. Everything else is good. We just need to get this devastated after. Uh, like I said, this doesn't really count. Oh, wait, I forgot about the Pope. It's not just Milan. Uh, yeah, I'm going to declare Milan here before they really France or something. Sure. Okay, we're done. Damage is gonna be big here when now annexing Milan. Oh, uh, well, listen, a coalition didn't form last time, so maybe now it won't either. Oh, now it will. Now it will. That's not good. That's not good at all. Still the same, right? Eh. Okay, so the coalition is real, obviously. So what I gotta do here is uh, declare on the Pope as soon as my truce with them is up in March. 
1546. And you know what? For our final war, if the coalition still exists, I'll declare on them so they can devastate the north. How did that happen? Annexed Padua, it's only Venice that's left. Yeah. Truce with the Pope is up. We gotta declare it. Well, my truce with the Pope is up. His truce with me isn't. You know how it works with the Pope. It's 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 weird. You get that pop up uh, all the time. No, great relations. No. Dude, I think if I scornfully insult him and during the time that we're waiting, he's gonna join. He didn't join? No, there are wars and people are walking through my land. I think this causes devastation, dude. Or does it? No, I don't think it does, actually. No, the Pope will give me this and I... Oh. That's so much. There's no point. I still can't annex uh, Venice. There's a gift. How the frick has the Pope dev so much, man? Look at Rome. 34, Terracina 23, Ancona 29. That's why it's so much. Oh, 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 oh. it's so good. Uh, yeah, I'm staying until I get 190 with Venice, man. Ooh, I can actually um increase trust. Trade favors for trust here. That should be helpful a bit. Eastern Sicily is finally prosperous, though. Excellent. So uh, all of these provinces right here that we need to be prosperous are this we don't care about. And all of this up here, once we own it, uh, needs to be like this, red. Why did it go up so much? It was six something, man. War exhaustion, I guess. I keep lowering it all the time. Okay, well, it's the new year. Coalition joiners seem minimal. A couple of guys have left this and a couple of guys have joined. I didn't really notice who's what, but... There we go. All of Italy after this will be ours. Yeah, of course, Venice hates me a bit after that, so I do need to bring it back up. But um, yeah, we just need to annex Venice and then I think I'll declare. Yeah, this is this is getting problematic. I've done everything I need to do. It's just they, they don't like me. Oh, new gift, new gift, new gift, new gift is always good. It'll only go up to 170 again, though. So it still is a yearly increase, but I have to wait. Got it up a bit by activating uh, established communities. So in about a year and a half, it should be 190. I can actually form Italy. Funnily enough, I I didn't even think of this. <laughs> it didn't cross my mind once, dude. But uh, uh, do we do we do that? I don't know. It wasn't a goal. I guess I'm guessing a lot of you guys do want to see it. But once again, I'll I'll stick with uh, Neapolitan. Uh, what you call it? Neapolitan ideas. Yeah. Let's give uh, these guys. Well, there's no need to give them anything, is there? Ah, the Italian mission. Oh, wait, what? Develop the south? That's good. Oh, this is excellent, actually. In southern Italy? Yeah, nice bonuses. I did not think this would happen either, but this is excellent. I thought that stopped existing, though. The, the everyone leaving the coalition if you form a nation? I thought that wasn't a thing anymore. Okay, with Venice, it's 190, finally. Let's annex them. Great. Now I'll give the nobles the, um, the integration policy. There we go. It's a bit cheaper now. So yeah, while we're annexing Venice, I'm actually going to get ready uh, to have all of this devastated right here by getting rid of uh, forts, getting rid of pretty much every building in northern Italy, right? We want these guys to be uh, as poor as possible. And then we're just going to, you know, uh, exploit dev, uh, scorch earth when I'm at war, uh, let people come and siege me down and stuff like that. We gotta make these the most unlivable provinces ever. And I think I've done just that. Um, You know, exploited dev in every single one of these provinces. Uh, Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much all grayed out over in the north. And uh, there aren't any buildings. Yeah, I can build trade buildings everywhere. I can build uh, navy buildings everywhere. Uh, this, uh, government buildings. Uh, well, you know, everything. I have deleted every single building here, uh, pretty much. And, you know, uh, let's 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 get a, 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 co a coastal defense in our capital. Actually, no, let's not get a coastal defense. Instead, let's build the Royal Paris of Caserta to tier three. And what I'm going to do is build up another army just like this, 27-412. And there we go. Venice has been annexed as well. I'm actually going to keep their boats around and, uh, yeah, you know, delete the stuff from uh, their uh, provinces as well. You know, this is just uh, proof to show you that I'm actually doing it because I didn't show it earlier because it's pretty boring. And uh, there we go. All of these provinces now suck as much as I can make them suck, at least right now. But uh, there we go. there's that. Sure, I'll take it. And now I need to find someone to declare on so they can come siege me. But ideally, these guys that I declare on would not have a navy now. <laughs> Who can I do it to? I think the Pope is the only option because yeah, none of their allies have navies either, but I have a truce with them and I don't really want to truce break them. So uh, yeah, let's see. I might wait a little bit. Oh, and we're at uh, 1032 dev. Let's, uh, let's upgrade to an empire. You know, ideally, I wouldn't even have these cultures accepted <laughs> except for like uh, Sicilian and Neapolitan, but uh, that is what it is. Yeah, but definitely making way less money than earlier. I was making like 60 something before I got rid of everything. There's the rural Paris of Caserta. 
Excellent. So yeah, I'm just gonna no CB the Pope right here. I can't do anyone in the HRE because then I'll have to fight Austria. And the reason I don't want to fight anyone with a navy is because I'll use my boats to fight their navies. And in the meantime, Tunis will come raid me and make this uh, devastated. So uh, yeah, there's a, there's a no CB truce break on the Pope. There we go. <laughs> Uh, let's stab up and, uh, fight some battles in the north. You know, there's even a Scorch Earth map mode, which I'm playing on right now. And now that I've scorched literally every single province, what I'm gonna do is just leave to down here and, uh, let them, let them siege me down. Ah, uh, Rome is my capital. I did not actually want that to happen. I forgot it happens. Whatever. We even got to the Council of Trent. Meanwhile, the coalition has grown again. Wait, why is prosperity down now? Now everything in the north is devastated, but nothing is prosperous. <laughs> <laughs> Stab must be positive. Oh, now it's growing. Excellent. While I'm being sieged, actually, these guys are scared to siege me. I have to keep moving down. Uh-huh. It's time for our tier 7 government form. Let's do meritocratic. Yay! Everything is prosperous again. Excellent. So let me run back down to here so I can make them siege this. So that becomes devastated as well. And uh, it'll be perfect. My dream finally coming true. There it is. They're not standing there anymore. Oh, no, no, no. That's not prosperous. I just, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I've been, I, I spent way too, way too much time on this, man. Way too much time on this. That, that's it. We're done. Challenge is done. Let's just say this is devastated as well. I, I really don't have anything left to do here to make him do it. So it's done. But yeah, there you go, man. Start off as Naples. And for today's challenge, we had to make Southern Italy prosperous and Northern Italy poor because, uh, you know, to do it the other way around from the real world where Southern Italy always gets bullied. And for that, of course, we did have to conquer all of it in order to make it all devastated. And this is what it looks like. You know, we didn't care about the islands right here. And unfortunately, I can't get this one to be devastated while this is prosperous because these guys move in, then they move back because they're scared. And then they start sieging this, then this is devastated so let's just for the sake of the argument say that it's not i mean it mostly is let's be real here boys but uh yeah sure off is uh naples in a pretty straightforward campaign uh aragon let us go got pretty strong allies and that after that was just smooth and slow and steady conquering and i have not only gotten these states to actually be prosperous but i've actually made them you know technically prosperous as well because look at the development here ladies and gentlemen i've been devving these provinces for the entirety of the campaign none of them is below 20 by the way everything from here to here obviously all of them have been super dabbed up marketplaces in all of them and none in northern italy workshops and all of them none over here churches and all of them except for here and none over here uh, forts uh army buildings manufactories even the farm estates uh you get the point i've done all the building over here and none of the building over here the royal paris of caserta tier three the malta forts at tier two and uh, i've just made this the most prosperous region in uh well on the planet as we can see our bonus goal was to uh get these islands did that bonus goal to form the two sicilies did that it wasn't a goal to form italy but i did that anyway and uh yeah this is the map mode man and uh this is what the devastation map mode looks like and uh well isn't that a beautiful sight for today's challenge overall a super fun campaign uh i do love playing naples a super fun uh nation kept their ideas for the entirety of the campaign uh went quality infrastructure trade two sicilies ideas are great italy ideas are great but what we needed for this campaign was the neapolitan ideas which i decided to stick with and yeah overall a very fun campaign and uh <laughs> this is satisfying for some reason that's all i have to say about that but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as naples in a to z has been a success and that has been naples in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video